Hello. Today we are going to learn how to set up TypeScript with Node.js or Node.js with TypeScript with SWC compiler. Yes, this is my first time recording an YouTube video slash tutorial and I'm excited. So let's start. First of all, we would start with setting up our package JSON file. You can use your any preferred package manager for npm yeah i like pnpm now first thing we would do is set type to module because we are going to use the ecmascript or esm now we're going to add some dev dependencies like typescript swc core SWC CLI types express these are developer dependencies types node well they are installing let's also install the some dev dependence some regular dependency like express nanoid dot env now that they are set up we are going to start with setting up our config files so pnpm psc dash dash init our ts config file is here now there's a lot of gibberish here but let me give you some important option let me explain you some important options since we're using swc for transpiling our typescript code to javascript code we would set module resolution to bundler we would set our module to es next and we have set our base directory to source i have added a path so that whenever we import file they are relative to our source folder and not to uh, our individual file from where we are importing so now let's set up our swc config file which is called dot swcrc Now here too, it is similar to our TS config, but mm, some important options uh, if we have to explain are like having that same path, setting the type to node next or ES6, keeping it strict, keeping source maps to true because they help in debugging. Because if you don't have source map true then you have to add the manual debugger statement yeah now let's start with making our source directory now make an index.ts file in our source directory now let's make an bare bones express server We are going to import some dependencies. Uh, import dot env slash config in ECMAScript modules. It's a bit different. Don't import like config and do dot env dot config. Not like that. App dot get request response response dot send and i'm going to send a nanoid string now reason to pick nanoid was that its higher versions are esm only so make sure it's gonna work i'm using them now let's listen our app on the 3000 port and so we're not log server is listening on port 
3000 now we are going to add our script for our build script so swc out directory equals test and we want to target the source folder now we are going to build it let the magic happen see it's so quick just 300 milliseconds the typescript compiler would have taken much longer see like the ECMA script modules like using the import statement let me let keep minify to true yeah it's source code so let's yeah now let's add our start script node list slash source slash index dot js pnpn start let's open our request i'm gonna make a request to the local 3000 port let's hit send and as you can see it's sending a different nanoid string every time now some few more things here first like let's make another file because yeah you're going to have a ton of file when you're working on a bigger app export const hello equals hello world yeah things are going to be more complicated but i am taking a simpler example let's import hello now we are going to just console.log it here now let's build and run it again as you can see it failed but you know why because you need to mention your file extension here and it needs to be js if you want to keep it ts you have to use an swc plugin to make things work which i don't want to use because why use an extra plugin like let's just use the dot js extension now like let since we have added the dot js extension let's start it again and now see it's working we are seeing our hello world too and the server's working too now since you have seen like running every time this command so to for every change so let's add nodemon2 so that we don't have to run the script every time we make a change now let's make our nodemon file nodemon.json let me see my yeah sort of for the short break yeah now what we have added in our nodemon.json file is that watch these certain files the source.env file package.json and our certain config files it would work on the ts file and every time there's a change it's gonna run these two commands now we would add our dev script we're gonna run nodemon source slash index dot ts okay nodemon works now one more thing see whenever you are setting up certain github action or anything see the thing with speedy web compiler swc is that it's really fast it's great but it doesn't do the type checking for you 
and there are certain times that when your code is going to get transpiled but there is some error which might break into prod you're like oh my server isn't running but it was running here and to make sure it doesn't happen we are going to make in build ci script what it is that it's gonna run the tsc command and then the our regular swc build command so that even if there are certain type errors it won't it would won't push with the prod like let me show response now if we do pnpm build it transpiles but if we do build ci the typescript compiler doesn't let it do that it breaks now sure this isn't a big error because what we have to do is just add a type but sometimes the error is going to be big and what you want is not what you want is not to stuff to break in production so it's better to have the tsc command run in your github actions or any other tool you use and that is the video if you like it comment like and help me increase my self-esteem bye